giant. We just got this uh, little Delta shaper. Good. This thing needs some serious work. No. Caden, I got this thing off the trailer with this beautiful Harbor Freight two ton crane. It's nice, but it doesn't roll very nicely. And I just, we just set it down on the fantastic. Got it set on the half ton mode. And we got that Powermatic 66 yet to get off. Had to borrow a friend's trailer to get the tools on that trailer. They have a hoist in their garage, so my trailer wouldn't have worked. Oh my. That is a beast. That is one heavy table saw. That is a monster. It does weigh 600 pounds. Wow. Model 66. Serial number. Ninety-four sixty-six six seven eight. <laughs> I don't know. This fence is. I think this was a stock fence. I don't know. Jet lock fence, maybe. It's got like a little Vega thing on it, but man, I'll tell you, this is a monster. We'll have to do some cleanup on this guy. With five horsepower ball door motor phase um, get a phase omatic like we've got on the five horsepower shaper here got the heavy duty phase omatic phase converter that's nice I got this thing a while back cleaned it up it's nice restored it not completely I didn't take off the guts and do all that stuff but basically I 
Here's the rust bucket when I got it. I cleaned it up and I also cleaned up all the, you know, this was all nasty too. The entire thing was completely rusted over. So I've done a number on this thing. But it's actually really nice. It's beautiful. So, as you can see, I actually have tapped holes for both sides. I don't know which direction I'm going. I've got the dust collection coming out of this. This is, hasn't been used. This is the very first time I'm going to start this thing up and cut wood. So, this is brand new. I just built it. And you might wonder. split fence here that essentially holds down the material keeps the cutter head so you can see inside this front one is cut away so that it relieves the shaper cutter so I can move it in and out and I have spacers washers in there that can space it out there's a particular cut that I like to make with this profile cutter. It happens to be one of the selling features. I got this power feed, this shaper, that cutter, multi profile Freud cutter, and numerous other cutters. There's panel, also um, a Powermatic 66. Again, needs to be fixed up, but it's a 5 horsepower Paramatic 66, and um, I have that on an earlier video. All of that I got from one crazy Craigslist deal, and it's phenomenal. came with a forest woodworker blade, however dull it is, um, but the, um, there's my general. Forest Woodworker Blade is this one. It looks pretty gnarled, but you know what? All it needs is, that's my sharpening area, so if the blades go there, that's for sharpening. All the rest stay here so they're out of the way and they're untouched. Also got a blade stabilizer since that blade is a thin kerf. The saw came with that. Plus, plus it came with this Incra Miter 1000 which is a phenomenal miter gauge. And came with his rosette cutter insert. With two rosette blades. So pretty crazy. Um, yeah, so anyways, this shaper is a wonderful, absolutely beautiful machine. It took a little bit of doing though. I had to prime it and clean it and polish the top and it's crazy. But the paint color I chose was a um, black stainless steel, believe it or not. Black stainless steel is that color and it's a metallic. It comes in a spray bottle and I sprayed the front edge of that, everything. And of course I had to buy a new mobile base. I didn't want to mess around with anything else. This is just nice. And uh, right as I was getting ready to start it up for the first time, I noticed that the toggle switch wasn't working anymore. So I got a new one of those. Of course this is 220 volt, so. But uh, yeah, anyways, all that. And this is actually where the shaper sits. But right now I'm just uh, working on it. Yeah. This is actually the fence that I rehabbed, painted it the same color, jointed this all as one piece so it's perfectly flat. It's actually really nice. Um, that's the original fence with the updated um, hood for the dust collection. But yeah, beautiful. So, ready to fire it up for the first time.
cutting. I saw this out here it completely traps it. 100% dust collection. The um, top of this thing with a little bit of static charge, it collects a little bit of the um, sawdust on the plastic itself. But basically, it's I mean, there's there's nothing in there. And let me show you. Something. I've made these for all my shapers. This actually has a raised panel cutter in it. You can see that insert cutter. And when I put this on there, completely covers it 100%. Not any dust comes out of the machine. And this one as well. This is another big cutter in here. However, that's a, a really big profile in there. Well, not really big, but it's a pretty big cutter. That one does have dust that comes out of it, but the actual blade is completely concealed. And it's nice. So, just so you want to know that what the profile is, it's this profile. It's a multi-profile. See the... Um, that profile right there. That's the one. I like to use that for shelf fronts. So, that's really nice, and it came with the shaper, I didn't have to buy it, that's phenomenal. I think I actually have a sample, it's right here, this is what it is, I just take a piece of hardwood and I glue it on to the substrate, whatever the wood is that I'm using, the shelves, you know, in this case it's MDF, it's going to be painted but glue it on, no nails, clamp it, and then shape it. It's really nice. So that's gonna be great. This is that other profile that that shaper does, the general. That's that one. That's for like edges of countertops and stuff like that. Since I got this, Shaper, I wanted to put this out there because I know when I got it, I was looking for videos to see if anybody had the same. I mean, this is just a phenomenal piece of equipment. I'm so glad that I got it. And this stock feeder, man, it's nice. I polished up this thing. I put gear and uh, lube in there. It just, it's nice. Anyways, all right. Bye-bye.